What's up, YouTube? Pink Reaper here, back for more uh, Mega Man Battle Network 3. Um, just a forewarning, you, were, you will hear a very loud, annoying beeping noise during this video. That is my timer that I set, because I'm making food right now, and because I'm hungry. Um, can I finally jack in here? Nope. See, it says it has a port, but Mom already... Oh, that's right. It, Mom already ran the virus check, so I can't... I can't jack in, I guess. Um... I feel like I've missed um, a regular memory somewhere, um, because in that Flashman fight, I should have had enough regular memory to set the um, the the shield the shield chip to my uh, my regular chip. Um, I just can't remember where it is. Wait, 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 wait! I think I remember. I think it's in the um, teachers' lounge, because I do remember it's in the school somewhere. This is one of the ones, like, I just straight up missed my first time playing through this game for so long. Is it? I think it's in one of these. At least I thought. Oh, I could have sworn it was in here somewhere. Nope. Guess not. Um... Hmm. Oh, well, I can show off at least one thing, though. Um, just take, takes a second to show off. Uh, if we go back in here, because all the lights are on in school, yes, the actual lights are on in this area. So, there's that. Um, figured I'd show that off while I'm in here. Um, so now, from, from the last part, they were saying, uh, we saw a little kid come up saying he's looking for the number one net battler in town. Um, and there's rumors that he's our brother, but we don't have a brother, or at least not anymore, not since he died. Spoilers. Um, but, more importantly, there's something else I would like to show off. If we go down here, we'll go through Dex's PC, because it'll get us much closer. Um, oh wait, this is the wrong, this is the wrong way to go. The, uh, the correct way to go is down this way. Alright, so we're done with that battle. More bug frags for me. Um, so if we go down here... We got Dex's code last night, if you remember, so I can now open this. Um, there's actually also a blue mystery data over here, I believe. Yep. Wide Sword L. Um, one of the ones I just kind of skipped, since I knew I'd be coming this way, way later. Um, but if we go around here... More mystery guy. 500 zennies. Always nice. Um, we're definitely going to be needing a lot of money as well in this game. Um, just, uh, just like bug frags, you use money to get chips and HP, obviously. And um, it's one of the things you just need a lot of in this game. Um, especially some of the later areas. Like the, uh, the HP memory can start costing like 50,000 zenny. Um, it gets ridiculous. Um, but don't worry, there's a way to get a lot of money fast later. Um, so, I actually went to the wrong area. I didn't mean to come here. I actually meant to go over here. Um, something to show off in this game. Uh, something that I'll be doing a lot of. And something that I'm going to save, because this might be the first time I actually lose a battle. Um, is a refight with navvies that you've already beaten. And, uh, these ones are tougher. This here is Flashman Alpha. Um, we fought Flashman originally, now there's Flashman Alpha. The Alpha Navvies are always in set areas after you've defeated them. Um, Flashman Alpha always appears right here. Um, and he's kind of, kind of much more difficult. The Alpha, div Alpha Navvies always do more damage. They're usually faster. They, uh, they, uh, where was I going with this? They have more health. Um, and they'll sometimes have extra attacks, too. Um, like that, for instance. That's not a, a homing attack like it was in the original, uh, in the original fight with him. Now it, uh... Oh, I'm gonna add to my folder here. Um, now he has one where it's just fast and it goes forward in that zigzag pattern. But, the, um... 
The shield ship is still very useful against him. Oh, here we go. I can show off Gutsman. Um, let's get right up to the front here. Gutsman always hits all three rows, and he cracks every panel he hits. And that includes if he's if uh, um, if he's on your panels. So he can crack your panels. So now we've actually got him trapped. He can't uh, he can't move from that spot, and he can't actually attack us right now either, because uh, his attacks actually require to travel along the ground. Um, but, unlike some, some net navvies, he actually teleports rather than, um, rather than, um, moving from panel to panel, which means, oh, there goes my shield. That's bad. That's really bad. Um, <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Which means, uh, even if there's holes, it doesn't really matter to him because, um, he, as long as there's an open space, he can move to it. Um, oh, I was doing so well. Come on. No, no! Oh. I was doing so well, and now it's just gotten, like... Okay. This is why... Oh, shoot. I was gonna say, that's why I'm saving my chips right there. Oh, that'll be useful. Um, the attack that he, um... The attack that he uses when he, um... After he... He flashes you with those pillars... Um... It only has a range of two. So... He always does this. He freezes you, and then he area grabs, and then he tries to attack. But if you've already area grabbed yourself, he can't actually hit you. Um, which is nice. Um, shoot, I'm gonna run out of chips. Oh, but I haven't gotten a roll yet. A roll will be useful. That said, after, uh, with the next one... Ah, oh, I can't break, I can't break it either. I'm gonna get hit. Oh, he didn't use area grab. Awesome. Maybe it's only beta that uses that always does a um, that all that can use multiple area grabs. Because most most bosses that can use area grab actually have a set amount of area grabs that they're allowed to use. Um, oops. I was hoping he was going for an actual attack there so I could get a counter hit, but I don't think that counts. So I'm doubting I can get a counter hit on it. Yeah. Oh well, again, it doesn't matter though, because just like uh, the Gutsman fight, Alpha Navis always give you their uh, their Navi chip when you defeat them. The remain, remaining data from the Navi rose and drifted away. Um, now what that means is you can fight the Beta Navis. Um, just, like, uh, just like Alpha is stronger than Standard, Beta is stronger than Alpha. Alpha Navis... Um, Alpha navvies are a little different, though. Unlike um, beta navvies that always appear in the same exact spot, um, alpha navvies appear in areas randomly. Um, like, for instance, Flashman, who we just defeated, will always will randomly appear here in not here in ACDC three. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and run from this one. Um, He'll appear in ACDC 2 randomly, and he is a rare enemy, um, which means if you're using Sneak Run, you can uh, you can increase your chance of finding him. Um, but it can be kind of annoying, actually, especially in this area, uh, especially if you're low on health and you just randomly run into him. You can't escape from those fights. Like, if you're in a battle with uh, if you're in a battle with Flashman and you've got no health, uh, just you know, hope you got that uh, that shield chip on. But uh, that's all we really had to do there. So, let's go check out this kid who's saying he's looking for the number one net battler. We want to go shopping. Lan, you've got to help us with this kid. He's your little brother, right? If I can't use the Metro line, I'll sue! You're not my brother. But you said you're number one net battler in ACD series. That's not my brother. Oh my god, this kid is so annoying. And like, he just refuses to tell you who his actual brother is. He's just like, oh no, he's the number one. Lord knows, it's not like there's a bunch of people who say they're the number one everything everywhere. Get on COD, everyone's like, oh yeah, I'm the best at this, I'm the best at that. Kids, you suck. Get at my VSAT dogs and drones. Uh, I was actually playing uh, COD the other day, and I decided I was going to make a B23R class, because the B23R is the best gun. It was so hilarious. I went like 40-something in 
like I think it was like 47 and 4. Um, I ended up getting VSAT. I, I actually didn't mean to keep these on. I, I had a bunch of high score streaks on because of um, I was playing Kill Confirmed and I was playing it with like a real class. But then I forgot to turn them off. Um, you mean me? Not you. Chisau! Yes, his name is Chisau. He is Dex's brother. Um, I meant to turn them off. And then I got into a Kill Confirmed match on Plaza and I ended up getting everything. I ended up getting, um, at the time I was running VSAT, Dogs, and VTOL Warship, because I hadn't unlocked, um, I, I wasn't high enough level for drones yet. Um, and I just destroyed that match. It was hilarious. I really didn't expect it to happen. And then I stopped playing right after that, because I'm like, I'm never, I'm not going to have another game as good as that, that same day. So I'm like, no more. Uh, it's like, uh, it's like when you win once against someone, like you're playing something competitive against someone. You win the first game and you just quit playing forever. You're undefeated. And like, why would you ever play again? Because clearly that person can't beat you. They've lost every single game they've played against you. <laughs> you're the undefeated king. The number one net battler in town. Uh, yeah, I I'm ignoring all of this talk because I really hate this kid. Um, anyway, what basically what just happened there is... Dex saying he's the number one net battler, even though he's not, because you are. Um, and then his brother saying, oh no, no, you should battle to prove that you're the number one net battler. So we're going to have a battle with Dex again. Uh, only this time, we're already up against Gutsman Alpha again. Um, again, but not what I mean, but... Um, we're, we're fighting Gutsman again, and this time he's at his Alpha stage. Now, Alpha stage Gutsman has one more, one more attack up his sleeve, which can be kind of annoying. Um, I can show off Flashman. Um, Flashman I'm going to use a little... Oh yeah, here it is. See, he can break every panel on the screen. But that doesn't hurt you too badly, because if you're not in the front panels, he can't hit you. Because he has a sh his attack is a shockwave attack, which obviously can't go through holes. Um, let's go ahead and show off Gutsman, or Flashman here. And then we'll show off Gutsman. Again, Flashman um, paralyzes the enemy temporarily, which allows me to do this. I can combo Flashman into Gutsman. And now you're losing all your panels. Um, and now he can't attack me at, even after my panels are fixed, because obviously his panels aren't. Um, this is, this is by the way, what I, what I was talking about with Metal Stage earlier in Part 1. Uh, when Metal Stage can be kind of useful. Um, it, metal Stage makes it so panels can't be destroyed. So, if you're fighting against Gutsman and you're worried about him destroying your panels, you can use a Metal Stage chip, and it will just make it so he can't destroy your panels. Um, it makes the fight a little bit easier. Um, not so much this one, because again, he can't actually attack us right now. Um, but his, his Beta Navi um, form actually adds a, um, a long-ranged attack that he, that allows him to, um, allows him to hit you even when you're, like, behind holes. So if you're stuck on one panel, he can still hit you. Ah. <sighs> so this is kind of an annoying fight. He has a lot of HP for this early in the game at 700, um, but he's, again, he's not really that hard. It's just, you'll probably run out of chips before you actually beat him is the problem. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and steal one of his areas. And let's put up a shield. Okay, here we go. This should be able to do it. There's one. There's two. Oh, wait, wait. I'm not gonna forget this time. I really want to get a counter hit. Um, so I can get... Let's see. So I can get those ten bug frags. Come on. Middle, middle, middle. There we go. Counter hit. It's really easy to get counter hits on Gutsman. Um, so yeah. With with these scripted fights, when you're fighting, um, like, when you're fighting Dex and other, um, I don't know, other net operators, you always get the, you always get, um, level 1 chip the first time you fight them, and you will always get the level 2 chip the second time you fight them. There are more than two levels, though, and you don't get the higher levels uh, for free. Those you actually have to S rank for. But yes, I get Gutsman 2, and I get 10 bug frags. Just how? 
Big Brother, I hate you! Um, you can actually, like, if you lose that fight, it, it, it still just comes to the scene with Chisau saying, See, he is the number one net battler. Um, but I hate the kid, so screw him. <laughs> um, and the PET is messing up again. So, now we can go down here to the Metro line. Type of garbage can for recycling soda cans. Maybe you should, maybe this should be called a kangaroo. We apologize for that last joke. It wasn't punny at all. Uh, so yeah, here's how you get from area to area, the Metro line. Right now we can only go to Scilab, so let's go to Scilab. Oh. That's a subship trainer. Trader. Um, welcome to Scilab. So, Scilab introduces something uh, new to this game, and that's hidden, uh, hidden jacking areas. There's areas that aren't actually, sh like, visible, but that you can jack into. Like, for instance, right here. Um, these are never story important, but they do always have blue mystery data, so it's always worth it to find them. This one gets me the air shoes chip. Uh, Scilab also introduces us the job BB uh, BBS. Um, this is where you can take jobs for rewards. Um, they're just side quests. I'll, I'll do them all eventually, but for the time being, I'm just going to ignore them. Um, here's a vending machine we can actually jack into. Oh, my, my timer is about to go off, so I'm going to put you guys on, a, on hold for a second while I go get the food I want to eat. And we're back. Who's back? We're back. Uh, I've been gone. You haven't seen it, but I've been gone for like an hour almost with this, with this recording on pause. Um, so if I don't remember what I was saying before, I'm sorry. It's just because, again, I've been gone for a little while. <laughs> I went and made myself some food and um, ate that food. And then um, my mother came home and I was talking to her and things were happening. Anyways, um, so here we are at Scilab looking for our father. But wait, huh? Where are you, Dr. Kari son? Sorry, I've seen you, blah, blah, blah. Is my dad around? I need him to look at the PET. Nope. Um... So we get a sub-PET that we can put uh, uh, Mega Man into while our normal PET isn't working. And then oops, then we get an email. This is Dex saying he's got a shortcut on his homepage to ACDC Square. Um, while we're here, we can jack into this. There's purple mystery data right there. We can't open it. It's got, like, either... Um, I think it's Water Spout or Snake data in it. Oh, we have a new enemy here! Um, Metroid Level 2s. Um, just like, uh, just like NetNavi's, uh, standard viruses also level up. Um, and just like standard NetNavi's, they have added features, I should say. Um, or they get added abilities. This one, for instance, um, Metroid 2s, when they're in their helmets, when they're guarding, you actually cannot harm them. Um, they're shielding themselves. Um, it requires a breaking chip to actually damage them. Which so far I don't believe we have yet. I don't think any of the chips break. Gutsman might. I don't use Gutsman very much, so I'm not actually 100% certain on him. Um, and also possibly Flashman, because um, some electric attacks just go through defenses. But I'm again, I'm not 100% certain, because... Again, they're not, they're not, um, chips I generally use. I mean, I did have a Flashman F-Class folder, which was broke as all get out, but, um, we'll get into more competitive folders, uh, later. Um, oh, he was telling us about how the, um, the, uh, yeah, the second, um, the second preliminaries, they'll be in Scilabs, um, Scilabs Square. Uh, which you'd normally get it, get to through here, but unfortunately, since we can't get through, we're gonna have to take the Cyber Metro. It's exactly the same thing as the normal Metro. Um, just go through here. Um, the fastest way to the Cyber Metro is actually through Dex's house. Uh, oh, actually, let me see if I can... Uh, nope, I need two more. Uh, when I hit 10 megabytes of memory, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to switch roll over to my, my regular chip, because 
I have decided I'm going to... That thing I was telling about the chips, um, what specific chips you use, um, altering the game, I'm going to I'm going to go for a different one than I have been. In fact, I want to put Gutsman as my regular chip. He'll be the much better one to use. Um, so, I'm not going to show off the shortcut just yet. Oh, actually, hold on. If I'm going this way, let's do this. Um, this isn't the optimal way to do it, obviously, because I have to go back, but this is what I should have done, um, since I have to go that direction anyways. I should have come over here and taken this job. Uh, please deliver this. Can someone make a delivery for me? And then it isn't dangerous, so anyone can do it. I'm the Red Navi between ACDC Square and the Cyber Metro. Um, you can only take one job at a time, as far as I know. Um, let me see. Yeah. You can only take one job at a time. Um, which is kind of bothersome, because if you get on a, um, a job you can't finish, or if you don't know how to finish it, um, and you're stuck on it, you can't take the other ones. Um, luckily, I, uh, I do know how to finish most of them. Um, I don't think I'll need any... I don't think I'll need to look anything up throughout here. Um, there are some very difficult ones, especially the late game ones, and there are ones that require a lot of work. Um, but the more annoying ones are the ones that require super specific chips. Like you saw the job I couldn't take, it required to recover uh, 30 asterisks. Um, that one's not too hard to find, but there are a lot of chips that are kind of just very difficult to find whatever code they're looking for. Uh, someone forgot his tools. He worked in the school blackboard, so let's go back to the school. Ah. I haven't shown this off, but uh, land normally, same with Mega Man, only normally walks. You have to hold down the B button to actually run, um, which is kind of a I never really liked that in games. I don't understand what the point of that is. Um, if You might as well just increase the movement speed. Because no one's ever going to walk. There's no point in walking in this game. There's literally nothing it's used for. It's sort of like in... Um, is it him? Yep. Um, I actually think you get a Recover 30 asterisk for this. But it might be a yo-yo chip now that I think about it. Um... Oh yeah, uh, but like in Mega Man Legends, um, there's a part really early in the game where you have to sneak up on some people so they, so you can listen in on their conversation and it requires you to walk. Um, you have to hold down an actual button to walk and then you walk towards them and then you can hear their conversation. But it never gets used after that. Like there's nothing else that that is sensitive to how you're moving. Like. In Banjo Tooie, I remember there's um, there's some there's some jiggies you can only get by walking past a sleeping enemy, so you have to like you have to creep slowly, and like it forces you to do it a couple times. But like in Mega Man Legends, it straight up only ma yeah it's a yo-yo chip. It straight up only makes you do it right that one time, and then um, and then um. After that, you straight up never use it again. And in this game, there's not even a point to doing it at all. Like, there's literally nothing that requires you to walk in this game. Um, it just... It's just there. And it's useless. You might as well just let me let me move at full speed all the time. Oh, sorry about that little rant. Um, it's just something random in a bunch of games. Like, in the Golden Sun games, you have to hold a button to run, which, again, doesn't make sense, because there's, like, nothing that you use the standard walk for. It's kind of archaic, I just wish they'd take it out. Although, I've gotten so used to doing it, like, I've gotten so used to holding a button while I run, that I straight up, uh, I, like, even when I'm playing a game where there is no, like, run feature, like, there's only one speed. Oh, the new enemies, raddies. These are really annoying enemies. They move around erratically. Um, yeah, but even when there's only one button to, um, like, there's no, there's no holding a button to run or anything like that, you just, there's just one speed. I always hold down the B button anyways. It's just, it's something that's in my mind at this point. I have, I've had to do it for so long. <laughs> yes, reg up two, now I can put, I can put, um, 
roll as my standard chip. Wait. Yeah, I know Flashman's in this folder. Uh, we're starting to get into the areas where, um... Oh, here's another new enemy, Sorties. Um... These ones are kind of annoying. They have two range, so if you're in the back panels, they can't hurt you. Um... And they always track you, like, see how he's following me up and down? Um, after a certain amount of time, I believe they will use, um... They will use an area steal so that they can actually hit you. <laughs> but it takes, them a, it takes them some time to do it, so... Um, for the time being... Oh, here it is! Yeah. So for, I was gonna say, for the time being, we're okay, but we're really not. Okay, let's do this. See if I can get him. Nope. It's really hard to get the counter hit on that guy just because once he's that close, because you basically have to take a hit. Um, and then this is a really easy way to get counter hits on Canadums, is to uh, use obviously Navi chips because you can catch it while it's attacking and it freezes him. And even while the screen is frozen, it still counts. That's okay. Got a long sword of eye. Uh, I'm not gonna be too useful. I don't have anything that really count combos well with eye chips. Um, so the cyber square is over here. I'm gonna ignore it for a second and come down here and get this mystery data. Panel grab asterisk, not that useful. You won't see me using that chip, like, at all. Um, uh, let's see, what do I want to do here? I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to kill all of these enemies. Oh, Flashman helps. Um, Oh, area grab. Oh, and I don't think I got the counter hit either. Oh, I did! Awesome. Um, now, there, there's one other attack. Th he, this enemy uses both long sword and wide sword as its attack, so it's actually... If you get him to come down here... Oh. Yeah, see, he'll do a... Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, did that work? Yes, it did. Okay. Um. Yeah, they'll they'll keep using area grabs. They're not just gonna take one. Um. They'll take multiples. Um. They'll. I think they'll even do it three times, leaving you with only one panel. Um. As you saw, the panel I was standing on, it didn't actually take. Um. So let's go up here. Finally, get into the cyber square. Ah. Oh. Oh, here's another new enemy, Quakers. Um, Quaker State. Uh, let's These are uh, interesting enemies. They jump, and when they land, they let out a shockwave. And it also actually, um, it paralyzes you a little. It, like, shocks you. Um, they're not too difficult to deal with. They always land on whatever row you're already in. Um, and obviously, they can only attack straight. So there's, there's not too much to avoiding them. I get the Rock Arm 1-0. Um, it does basically the same thing they do. It just lets out a shockwave forward. So, again, it's not that useful. Um, I think this is a... Nope. I thought that was a traitor, but it's fine. Now, this right here is one of the things I was saving my money for. Anti-Damage M is a... Or, Anti-Damage in general is just a ridiculously broken chip. Um... And I definitely wanted that. Same, um, Mole 1 is also really good. It's another, like, invisible type chip. It makes you immune to damage. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy another HP memory. Uh, that should put me at 200 max. Uh, so here we go. This is the first part of the, uh, the round 2 preliminaries. It's just a, a simple, uh, simple battle. Oh. Oh yeah, so there's the Raddies. They uh, they attack by sending out a mouse bomb forward, and then when it gets to your row, it just goes straight down. Uh, when you damage Raddies, the more damage they take, the faster they start moving. Um, so you definitely, if you can, you want to avoid, like, you want to avoid not killing them. Basically, if you're hitting them, you want to be killing them because uh, once they get below half health, or once they get to half health, they start moving really fast, and they can be very annoying. Um, This is going to be a fun one. Ah. 
So much things to avoid. Oh, why can't... Why can't cross gun be a thing now? Um... Uh, I'm not going for counter hits here because you don't get any chip data or um, bug frags for when you win these. Um, so it's not really a big deal. That'll make things a little easier. Now I can just avoid this guy. Um, later in the game you get a way to make the custom gauge move faster and I am so looking forward to that. Um, this slow custom gauge is annoying. Oh, here's another annoying set of enemies. Wait. Let's just kill one right away. And I actually want this guy dead before I want anyone else dead. So let's get over here. Oh shoot, I'm in his range. Um, oh, also of note, roll will not... Um, roll will not attack enemies that are on your side of the field. Um, she will only attack enemies that are on the other side of the field. But, and this is really important, if one is on your side of the field and one is on the enemy side of the field, she just won't attack. Because she'll target the one that's on your side of the field, but she can't attack it. Um, second mission, you have to find a Navi we've disguised and hidden right here in the Scilab area. If you eat him, just come back here to me. Give me some great shots now, kid. Alright, so that's part two of this, uh, this event, is we have to find a Navi and we have to fight him. But I think... I think I'm going to do that in the next part because we're running pretty long on time here. So thanks for watching guys, this has been Pink Reaper, signing out.